So today I want you to work on playing with the piano, right? I think you're already pretty ready for it because I think that it, what you just played was the tempo of the piano, wasn't it? What tempo did you play for the for for with the metronome? Eighty-eight. Yeah. So if you played eighty-eight, then I think you're ready. I I I I. I, I the only thing is that the piano is not going to be a metronome. It's not going to be as even, right? There's some parts where it might slow down one note and then it throws you off, right? So you just, you just have to anticipate and learn what that note is. I would practice and hear the piano and try to figure out the tempo of the piano. And then I would practice with the metronome just to make sure that I have it and I play it a little bit faster. And then when I go back to playing the piano, it's easier, right? But then the piano is not a metronome. There's going to be some notes that it slows down. And uh, I learned that note, and I would take a few, I would have to record a few times just so I can learn the piano, you know what I mean? It's not perfect the first time I listen to the piano and record it. So get your music ready, your piano ready. Okay, well let's see how it sounds. Hopefully you warmed up your fingers, maybe play a few scales, play a section, a part of it that is hard, just warm to warm up a little bit, okay? <laughs> that you felt like you were surprised? Yeah. What line? What was it? Two to three still. Yeah, two to three. Uh, also, you felt kind of, um, when you looked over to the next page at line two, you, you sort of felt like you were not, I felt like you weren't that much, uh, the tempo wasn't the problem. It was just lining up with the piano, wasn't it? Some of the notes in the piano wasn't played as even. There are some notes that are a little bit longer. The dum, bum, bum. It's like it's holding the next count. <laughs> it's a little longer, and then it would play evenly again somehow. Now this time, let's let's uh, fool you, you, your your ear. Okay, put on your mute so that the mute is uh, makes the pia uh, the piano louder, and you can actually play along with it better, making the piano louder. And then when you're used to it, you take the mute off, okay? But right now, it helps to, to have your, your instrument a little bit softer. Which string did it go on? What was it? Oh, you can put it on the A or the a D, it doesn't matter. This might throw you off.
Was it easier or harder with the mute? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was easier, but I just had to get used to it. Yeah, because you you can't you can't you feel like you're not projecting, and you feel like you, there's something wrong with your your violin, right? Right from the beginning, you're like, oh, I, it's so weird. You're just not used to it, right? I practice with the mute sometimes because I I just want to um, be able to hear the piano. Sometimes I get a piano recording; it's too soft, and there's no way I can maximize the sound unless I'm on my computer. And computer, I can max it because it's a desktop. You know what I mean? But if I'm just like in my living room or somewhere and I'm trying to max it out, it's all, my, my volume on my little speaker is maxed out and the recording's too soft, I would do that. I would put a mute on. So don't forget, you can use your mute, right? Um, sometimes, and then when I turn, turn it, take it off, I'm surprised how loud I can be because then I realize I, I've been, because I couldn't play loud enough, I played louder with the mute on. And then when I take the mute off, I surprise myself how loud I'm playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so what, what, what did you learn other than that it's easier on the mute? Did you feel like you're getting used to the tempo of the piano? Mm -hmm. And you're anticipating a little bit, right? So you're a little bit behind. Did you know that you're a little bit behind in like line, uh, end of line three into four, maybe a little bit? Because I think you were just kind of listening more and more of the piano, wasn't it? Right? So let's do it again. Uh, this time, I want you to fix what I'm talking about, right? The main thing is in line two to three, improve that. There's an intonation right there when you went up in third position. So just play that measure before three. Make sure you go up in position and it's in tune. Good, great. Let's, let's, let's see, let's play with the mute on again. And remember, it's not about uh, it's it's about listening to the piano, okay? Let's do it. See what you can improve from that. More in tune, more in time. was doing and somehow you're just you're in sync with the piano right even though it's it's recording it's the hardest thing to follow did you know that it's easier if, if the, I was a pianist and I went over there and played because I just follow you and you would sound marvelous because you can make mistakes and I will be there to catch it I'll be like you'll slow down there so I slow down right but no this one you really have to listen 